Hi, welcome to our masterclass. Today's topic within the chapter Deficiency and Exorcist is pH. If you grow with the right nutrient brand and you choose the right nutrient type and you give them the right dose, actually it's not possible to get an overdose or an underdose in nutrients. Nevertheless, a grower can make mistakes. And one of these mistakes is pH. pH tells you something about the solvability of nutrient elements. That means if you grow within the right range, the plant can take the nutrients you offer them. And in that way, the plant can get whatever he wants. The optimal pH range is between 5.2 and 6.2 for the solvability of the nutrient solution. Nevertheless, a substrate will influence that range. Please check the grow guide because we recommend it for every substrate. In the vegetative phase, the plant will take his nutrients and because of that, the pH is going to increase to a higher level. If it, it becomes out of range, some of the elements the plant cannot take, the trace elements. The plant becomes light green till pale. To solve that problem, we can add a product called N17. This product will lower the pH, but not in the solution, but in the substrate. Later on, in generative phase, actually the plant is willing to lower the pH in the substrate. Watch out because it will show you an early autumn coloring. Of course, you have to compensate it with your solution. So in the generative phase, we always give a pH level which is on the higher range. Most nutrient problems you get by a wrong pH. That's the reason that we always recommend in the vegetative phase to stay on the low pH levels which we recommend. But if we go to the generative phase, we climb up with the pH for the nutrient solution to the max what is recommended on the growth schedule. And in that way, we can prevent the plants from excesses or deficiencies. We hope you also gonna have a look to the deficiency and excesses product presentations because with these products, you can solve the problems also of the eggs.